Do you want to make the text pop off your thumbnails? Today we're going to show you how to do a text outline and a few other effects on your thumbnail to make them stand out and look a whole lot better. Stick around, let's dive in and get started. Welcome back to our channel. My name is James and I help you build the skills that you need to be successful as a YouTuber. Today we're working on showing you how to build thumbnails. We've been doing a series on thumbnails over the last week and today we're going to be showing you how to make your text really stand out. We're going to show you some of the common mistakes that people make with text and we're going to show you what you can do to make it pop off the page so that you get people's attention. Let's dive in and get started. All right, so now we've got our thumbnail. We've got me, we've got our outline, we've blurred our background. If you haven't caught the other videos in the series, we'll share a link to that at the end of this video. In this video, we're going to add text. And one of the biggest questions that I've been asked a lot of times is how to do the outline effect around our text. So we're going to actually do that effect today, as well as a couple of other little effects. Now, there's different ways you can do it. You can just do one block of text, or you can do a separate block of text for every line in your headline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this separate blocks. That way I can change fonts, change sizes, and it's not going to mess with one line to mess with another line. So we are going to do uh, outline. We're going to make that big. We're going to be messing with the colors and stuff here. Your and we're going to be adjusting the sizes. Text. Now, I don't like these this font for what we're going to do. I prefer something with big bold letters and that's going to become obvious here in just a few minutes why we do that way so we're going to do that we're going to go to horizon for this one and for that one we're going to choose uh yeah Open Sans. Go down just a little bit smaller. 25 is good. So there we got a couple of different fonts. So we can see how this text effect is going to work on different fonts. Now we can change the colors of the text. So say I want that to be yellow. I can just choose a yellow. I can go right here to the color picker and get a really bright yellow color. You know, and you also have to kind of play with what's your background. And we'll show you some other background effects we can do here in just a minute. So if I want to make this pop, we can go to effects, shadow. Now it's going to automatically default to the color of our text. We just select that and go back to black for our shadow. Offset is going to move it in and out so you can do it however you want you can add transparency now you could just leave it like that and kind of make it like a dual layered text so you can kind of see that and i know a lot of people that just use that you can also do an offset and add some blur to it and it makes it kind of shadowed now remember we already have a shadow and the shadow is behind me. So one thing we always want to do when we do a shadow is we want to make sure that that shadow is going in the same direction as the shadows in our image. And then we can just do a little bit more transparency, take some of the transparency off, and that will kind of make it stand out just a little bit more. Now we can select that text again, and this is where we're going to outline our text. And we can change the color. If you're going to do this, you want a, a contrasting color. So we can do red. Kind of line them up with the text. 
that we're going to use. Go to Effects. Now, the last time we did Shadow, this time we're going to go to Hollow. And that hollow text is going to then put an outline. And you've got right here, you've got the thickness. So you can make it really, really thick or really, really thin. I like it kind of in the middle. And that's just another way to kind of make that text pop. All right, now this entire series is being brought to you by Canva Pro. We really appreciate you guys watching us out. If you haven't used Canva's Pro version, I really recommend you check it out. It unlocks a lot of features like the background remover, a lot of additional tools as well as thousands of pictures, videos, elements, extra things that you can use to help really enhance and make your video stronger and it's only a few bucks a month it's not a huge expense you can take Canva pro for a test drive for free for 30 days in the link down in the description i am an affiliate of Canva pro but i also only recommend tools that i personally use myself we love Canva pro and i think once you take it for a test drive you will too so use the link below to check out Canva pro today you can also go to effects, select the original, and instead of doing the shadowed background, you can just do a splice. You notice it automatically defaults to gray, but you can go here and you can select whatever color you want. And then you go here to there. And then you see how that splice is offset. So we go back to our sets and you have the offset option right here. And you can just set that to zero and it'll line it up. And again, you can adjust the thickness. You can, if you still have that offset, you can change the direction of the offset. But we set that offset to zero so the direction doesn't really matter. And so we're going to go back to effects, do the shadow on this one. Change it to black. Give it a little bit of space. Give it some transparency. Make that pop. Now we're going to duplicate. And we're just going to do black. Effect. Hollow. And there we go. Now you see how the black is kind of blending into the dark background so what I can do is I can go right here to elements I can just get this little square box and we're just gonna put a square box right here and put it right behind my text and once I get it positioned kind of the way I want it and you can see now how it really stands out I can send to back and now it kind of overlaps where my shadow is, which kind of gave it more of a gradient effect as well. Bring that down. We can bring it back forward just a little bit. That way it's still going to go behind me, but it comes in front of where I had that gradient. And there we go. Now we've got our text. We've got a little pop. And it makes our text stand out from the page. You've got the blurry background in the background, so it's not going to show my background too much. But everything kind of stands out. And now we can just click download. Download as a PNG file. And download. We can go back to our downloads folder. And there is our thumbnail for our YouTube video. I hope that this has helped you to create better thumbnails for your YouTube channel. Remember what we always say, progress beats perfection every time. Try to be better today than you were yesterday in everything that you do on your YouTube channel. And eventually you're going to grow and you're going to succeed if you keep that in mind. 
One of the things that we want to do is we're going to be going through Friday in our live stream. You can click it right here and you can join us for our live stream where we're going to go through five of the most common mistakes people make with their thumbnails. And you don't want to miss this. This is a mistake that we've made ourselves and it's cost us thousands of viewers, thousands of potential subscribers. And it's something that if you avoid these mistakes, it's going to help you grow a whole lot faster. So join us Friday so that you can see some of the mistakes that we've made and we've seen other people making with our thumbnails so that you can avoid them with yours. Let's see you there. You can also click right here and you're going to find the entire series that we just completed on how to create thumbnails using Canva. Check it out. We'll see you in the next video.